Anyone wearing a respirator must be trained and authorized by the company in several different areas, such as how to put on and take off the respirator. We call that donning and doffing. The process is simple, but it does require some basic knowledge, which we'll now review. You are being asked to select the respirator that provides the most acceptable fit. A mirror must be provided to assist you in evaluating the fit and positioning of the respirator. Each respirator represents a different size and shape, and if fitted and used properly, will provide adequate protection. Hold each face piece up to the face and eliminate those that do not give you an acceptable fit. Put the most comfortable mask on your face and wear it for at least five minutes. If you're not experienced wearing a respirator, put it on and take it off several times to become familiar with the process. Be sure to adjust the straps each time the respirator is donned. While wearing the respirator, check the comfort of the mask, how it fits your face, nose, and proper seal between the mask and your face and cheeks. Make sure your chin fits the respirator. Check the strap tension to make sure it's not too loose or too tight. Some respirators have a tendency to slip, so check the fit in the mirror and through testing of the fit. Move your mouth as if talking to make sure you don't break the seal or fit. Before conducting the negative and positive pressure checks, set the mask on your face and move your head from side to side and up and down to ensure a stable fit. Make sure there is room for eye protection and good vision. If you wear glasses, the glasses cannot extend through the seal of the mask. Conduct seal checks. If you have any facial hair or sideburns that would prevent a proper seal, you cannot wear or select the respirator. While selecting or wearing a respirator, and you have difficulty in breathing, you must stop and be provided a medical evaluation before being allowed to use respiratory protection. To conduct a positive pressure seal check, close off the exhalation valve and exhale gently into the face piece. The face fit is considered satisfactory if a slight positive pressure can be built up inside the face piece without any evidence of outward leakage of air at the seal. For most respirators, this method of leak testing requires the wearer to first remove the exhalation valve cover before closing off the valve and then carefully replacing it after the test. The negative pressure test is conducted